developer of Bengerberg told that there had been a magic explosion in Skellig. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers <coughs> and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Krak and Krait, who helped break down the druid's resolve. Wonder if he's as strong as he looks. Foreigner, watch your step. <coughs> explosion in Skellig. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Krak and Krait, who helped break down the druid's resolve. Geralt went to the castle and realized his ass stank to the high heaven. Ooh, I, 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 ow, sorry. Yeah. Turns out they spoke the truth about you. You're pale. You drink last night too? What's this? It's uh adornment. I engraved it. Melt this plate and forge it again. A sword <laughs> for cutting, not looking pretty. Greetings, White Wolf. I suspected you'd come by. Bah! <laughs> I was sure of it. Oh yeah. The best stock armory in all Skellig is right here at Care Trulda Castle. Everyone knows it. I'll gladly see for myself. <coughs> Give them all a careful look. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Uh oh, spaghetti! -o! Noodles, oodles, and noodles. <clears throat> that fritter, you know, Dan. Damn that nut, that bust. So.
I played RuneScape, dude. <clears throat> That's it, though. No, yeah, really, I play RuneScape, and I, I like story mode games, to be honest with you. Like, I'm playing RuneScape right now while playing The Witcher 3. Yeah, right. So you're back. <laughs> Craft something for me, will you? <clears throat> what do you think? Who will be the next king of the Isles? Yalmar, clear as day. Lads brave and generous. And from Croc's own line. No better claimant. Looking for someone who can make me a master quality breastplate. Hmm. Never known a master who wasn't a dwarf. Fergus, perhaps? Say he's holed up somewhere in Velen. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. Fuck off. So we are back. That was the worst cards I've ever been fucking dealt. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. <clears throat> the Witcher, man. Cards, yes. No, 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 no. Okay, no, it's all good. No, there's a card game called Gwent in The Witcher. It's pretty good. 
but I just got the worst cards in the history of this game, and yeah, pretty fucking bad. the fucking northern faction reward. <clears throat> I, I think I have to take this out. What's this? It's, uh, adornment. I engraved it. Melt this blade and forge it again. A sword for... So you're back.
So you're back? Crap. Watch it. Foreigner, watch your steps. Yeah. Who knows? Hey, he's 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 Yeah, male studies. Ah! 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 Ah
pleasure. P-O-O-P for poop. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Don't want to go through each other. What the fuck? Yes. Don't want to go through each other. Smell it, man. Don't want to go through each other. Explosion in Skellig. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Krak and Krake, who helped break down the druid's resolve.
Yes, dude. What did I even just grab there? I'm stuck. Hey, you're definitely not supposed to be down here. As Yennefer of Vanderberg told it, there had been a magic explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Kraken Krait, who helped break down the druid's resolve. the same thing as I did before. As Yennefer of Vanderberg told it, there had been a magic explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Kraken Krait, who helped break down the druid's resolve. Jennifer of Vanderberg told it there had been a magic explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers 
and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Krak and Krake, who helped break down the druid's resolve. Oh! Move it! These continental dandies come a-struttin' then we gotta try. Watch your step. Talk. Any news of Yalmar? His venture going well? Nah. Tempted after all, eh? If you're itching to join him, it might not be too late. <sighs> Maybe I should visit Envic. Ask at the new port. Clan Todorok's survivors lie around there. They refuse to hunt the giant, but they're willing to talk. Sorry, remind me. Where'd Ceres go? Speakerog. Got it in her head that she must help Uderic. How? I have the same question. He's a brave man. Some say hot tempered and hasty, but. If Ceres wanted glory, she'd have done better to sail with Yalmar. As it is, who knows what ideas bat about in her head? What's new in Skellige? Of late, look seaward and you'll see their son on a sail. Staring right back. We've yet to capture any of their crew, but only a fool wouldn't know they're planning something. See ya, Crack. I could have married a continental man. Patient, but she brooks no insult. Don't worry, got to guys, guys, I'm a 
このおとろま素晴らしいです。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。They're tired, huh? It's in a continental here. Careful, the goat. Ah! Oh, yeah. Hemdal watches over Clam Queerset. The blood of the king. Married a continental man. Oh, they keep
me your axe never crumbled. Love it. Oh, come on. Don't eat so much. Why the sweat Because if I get hit in the gun, I'm going to comprehend this. I will ash rape you. Do you understand? This will be the end of you. Do you understand this? I cannot help past this moment. What brings it to me? Need. Danny pussing Eddie, yep. Yeah, he does smoke a shitload of weed. He does. He smokes a shitload of weed. Yeah. You're correct. snake swam up and bit my arm off the gods have spoken a sacrifice is needed to my mind it's about you defeating a snake yeah no they demand a sacrifice i'm sure of it it's time we must wait for a clearer sign at least till your next dreaming i don't need no more signs Looking for Ceres. Heard she stayed here. On Crate's daughter. Aye, she was here. Where is she now? Hmm. What? Ceres. Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. I say something wrong? You must forgive the Jarl. Hasn't been feeling well of late. Is he sick? didn't seem quite right during Krach's feast, but... Forgive me. I must go to him. Where's Ceres? I've got to find her. Uh, I don't know. Ask around. Great. <laughs> Absolutely. Remember that they storm caught us in Old Bay? Aye, like it were yesterday. Up come fell overboard a near drive. They dove in the waves and saved uh, them. Because the gods directed them. These continental dandies come a strutting, then we gotta drag their corpses out of the inn. Greetings. Ha! Nary a soul for months, then one day guests from afar start dropping like rain in springtime. You weary traveler, hungry. Looking for Ceres, Jarl on Crate's daughter. Ah, you've found her, or near to. Last was just here. Know where she might have gone? Took an interest in our Jarl. Asked about his childhood. So I told her to see Bergthora and Eirik. Who are Bergthora and Eirik? Years ago, Eirik was close with the old Jarl. Was the Jarl that helped him win Bergthora's hand. They lived toward the east end of the village. Take care. Bless you. And my blessings to Ceres when you see her. Sorry to interrupt. 
You need something? Come, let's have a pint of that shot. Thanks, but I'm short on time. Looking for a girl named Ceres. Crack on Crate's daughter. She was here, but I've not seen her away. Take care. No, no. Greetings. I'm looking for someone. <laughs> Lucky chap you are, then. Truth be told, I'm taken. But village is brimming with lovely girls. I'm looking for Ceres. The skinny thing. Lovely doe eyes, true, and she's from an honorable house. But the lass is gaunt as a sapling. I don't know where she is, and her father... Ugh, tell Crack to calm down. No Skellige lass can perish in her own isles. All right, she was here a few hours. Went to find me man, Iria. Needed to talk, she said. They should be on the beach, t'other side of the isle. Thanks. Take care. Good luck searching. Careful watches over clown for your sec. The blood of kings. Pax, do you smell that? Yum. You know what I mean? Pop, 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 pop. The stick is gay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if they ever fucking decide to release it. This is a shit. Warning, you'd be herring bit about now. And if not for me, you'd have sat on that rock till you died and rotted. For the love of Freya, all right. Have it your way. You saved me, now what? What, need I march around the country singing in your praises? No, just tell me where to find Ceres. Must be daft. You helped me with the sea devils, but that don't mean I'm willing to gossip about Uncrate's daughter. Here are your options. Tell me where Ceres is, or I'll tell everyone I found you sitting on a rock, scared witless and screaming like a woman. Eh, talk all you want. No one will believe a foreigner telling tales about an islander. Where's Ceres? Tell me. Just about our Jarl and his family. Went to Odeldrick's old family home. Yonder on the hill. Thanks. Farewell. Who? Who did? Who? Who? Who did? Who did? Oh, yep.
I just follow the goat, uh, Nabuo Uometsu. Come on, Roach. Come on. Footprints could be Ceres's. Ceres passed out. Gotta get her out of here. Where am I? Oh, my head. Pain's just awful. Got hit with something heavy. Geralt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Croc's worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword. Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back. You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, half dead. I have to. You have to tell me what's going on. Why'd you go in there? I wanted to help Udelrek. Sure, he was acting strangely, but I don't see how your stroll through a haunted house will help him. It would have if I'd only found the sword. So what's this sword all about? It's Brockvar, <clears throat> the ancestral sword of Udelrek's son. <clears throat> I needed to lift the curse that holds Udelrek. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udelrek and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udelrek. But his father gave Brockfart to his little brother, Aki. <laughs> Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udelrek to break a sacred law here in Skellige. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udelrek to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Got a feeling this trip didn't end happily. Your feeling's right. There was an accident. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udelrek had his hands full with the sails. He didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the isle had the same doubt. But none would mention it aloud. What do you think? Did Udelrek kill Aki? I don't want to jump to any conclusions. But I do think whatever happened at sea that day, well, it's affecting Udelrek right now. Powerfully so. And it could have something to do with that sword. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember, folk have said Udelrek's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once. But now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. Daring theory. Not breaking any of your laws just by thinking it. Don't care. I don't believe it's the gods talking. Have you seen him? He's covered in scars. Thought he earned those in battle. If you call the strife in his heart and head a battle, I've asked him about it. He said the voices command him to hurt himself for the glory of the gods. I think not. It's not the gods. It's Aki. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge, because Udelrik let him die? I've talked to Yort. 
He swears Udlerik didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we've to give Brokvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udlerik alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udlerik both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Udlerik? No chance. You're weak. Might pass out again along the way. Wait here, we'll go together. Dumbass bitch. <clears throat> about So, to find the sword? I found it. Let's go. After you, then. You and my da, you were mates once, right? Hope we still are. But, well, I heard you fell out over something, or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. That you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe, uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease, the calm and the quiet. Why she let you come here alone? What do you mean, let me? Nothing, not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Look, there they are. Hardly bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl, our guests, remember. What happened to your hand? I sacrificed it to the gods. Forgive him, Jarl. Geralt's got more to learn about our customs. We're close to the gods in Skellige. And the chummier you are, the greater the offering you make. It's our belief that the greatest thing a man can offer is his pain, his suffering, a pure sacrifice. To hear the gods is a gift, not a sacrifice. These voices you hear. The gods, their <clears throat> voices. More likely, this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. Let me help you. 
and I promise to do everything I can to keep from angering the gods. Heed the Witcher, Jarl. Make amends to Aki, and you'll surely please the gods. What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Ulula's needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's returned to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods, they'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you, and they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? Aye. Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off. These continental families come as fucking them. We gotta drag their corpses out of the inn. They don't understand. I'm giving them UK slang. My brother, my fam, my act. My brother, my fam, my act. My brother, my, my bro They don't understand. I'm giving them UK slang. My brother, my fam, my act. Oh. You see the feds just down a sweep. We see the boys down over there, my guy. Yeah. But out of vacant, something out of vacant flats. In other words, apartments, hidden compartments, get the touch. Yeah, ooh. That's what I like right there. Keep that up. You say my dad done fucked my ass. You say my dad done raped me. Oh, sorry. I'm streaming. <laughs> Maybe a band off Twitch. You say my dad done did this to me. I told you that couldn't be possible. I do not consent to this. In other words, apartment. What the fuck is happening? Must be the place. They don't understand I'm giving them UK slang, my brother, my fam, my Aki. My brother, my fam, my Aki. My brother, my fam, my Aki. Yeah, exactly. You think you understand my game and you can stand my brother, my fan, my act? You always go on my act. In other words, apartments, hidden compartments get detached. In other words, apartment. You know. My brother, my family. Okay. Why you think you pay the tax? Sorry. I 
vanished, if anything. And to see Udalrek. I'll need to go to an apartment. There was a fucking in in when you're in Jennifer's room and she's talking to you. Or no, sorry, you're in this guy's like lab, and he has a diary of fuck of autobiography of Raymond Marlove. Yes, they. I literally was like, oh my Ray Marlove, dude. Yeah, respected Ray. Yes. Who who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? Yeah, he literally died. Yeah, just died to a fucking you know a powerful like being like. He really did, yeah. Yeah, and a doppel. He was he was literally assumed his identity. Ray Marlove, man. M-A-A-R-L-O-E-V-E. -E. That was dope as fuck. What, what I just witnessed right there. Yeah, he's like, there, there's like Elliot Ness, and then there's fucking... In other words, apartments, I need to go to my apartment when I get to... I need to. What was, the, what was I saying the other day that was, was pissing off Bob? I need to talk to Doja Cat. <laughs> and he fucking raged, man. I need to talk to Doja Cat. I need to speak to Doja Cat. Thank God. Oh. Is it Marlove? Raymond Marlove, man. M A A R L. Sorry. Ray Marlove, man. That was weird. Yeah, I know. And he was just like, dude, fuck you. Fuck you, losers. I need to talk to Doja Cat. There is a message I have for Doja Cat. Doja Cat up on the telly or up on the <laughs> I called Doja Cat and I called I, I told her I'm on my telly I need to speak to Doja Cat Extended warranty on your ass. We we got extended warranty.
Speak to Doja Cat. I need to speak to Doja Cat. I need to speak to Doja Cat. <laughs> I've hard enough your shit, Doja. <laughs> Are you there? Holy crap. Unbelievably, does your cat call the side? Doja Cat called up my house. I knew what to do and I ran and grabbed my Viagra. I need as many Aurans and Florins as I can. today. 
I'll check the lease on my apartment. Sorry. I was pissed it was already 9.30. Another 100k XP gain today in rune crafting. 36 days, 36 days away of 100k a day. In other words, apartment. Stop having sex, don't let do it from behind. It's easily done. You will be extremely hit. The, the amount of enlightenment that you will receive is going to be infinite. You will not believe. In other words, apartments, I'm an apartment, I own a flat, you know, I, yeah, but I don't own it in an apartment, uh, yeah, there is no real distinction. Yeah, they say apartment, you might say apartment. I call it a flat.
Fisher. Sky cells. Nice idea for a prison without bars. Shame I didn't know how to fly. Giving me no choice. Yeah. 
Neither grave will take your back. Halt! <laughs> That was a sick achievement. Just got one randomly. It's like making an opponent suffer from bleeding, burning, like a bunch of different fucking... Let's see what that was, actually. Make an opponent suffer from bleeding, poisoning, burning simultaneously. Do this ten times. Two... Two... Do this ten times. 2.9%... 2.9% of players have that. That doesn't seem that hard. But kind of, I mean, like, you just have to have certain... Like, yeah, like, I have my oils have a chance to poison, you know? I just, I'm on Skellige, and I just fucking found, like, a... An open, like, a sky prison, you know? I found like a sky prison. Yeah, like with the open, like just an, like, you know, basically if you can fly, you can fucking, you know, you're home free, you know?
What's going on? Comedy. They exist already, pal. That would be that would be great, yeah. We didn't Norgan's birthday tomorrow. I have no clue what to give her. Maybe a Hey, you <sighs> What's this? It's uh a door so you're back.
yourself, white bear. Do you understand what will happen to you if you let me get access to your back door? It will not be not be preferable for you. Your average missed. Not your lucky day. Our oregano goes in the same. Hey, scene. anyone there? Itadakimas. Ita, yeah, itadakimas. Uh, how did you get here? What do you think? It is an island. Where did all those wraiths come from? Last saw something like this near Vergen when. Oh, no, here's. That's just it. Fire went out and wind died of a sudden. That's how it started. Came out here for oil, stepped out of the house, looked up, saw the mist rising. Then the ghost showed, came straight at me. Pulled it back inside, hosped the door, and then I heard it. Someone whispered me name. Miguel, Miguel. I look out, there's the wraith. Big bugger, bigger than the rest, and cold flowing from it. Such cold, the windows frost the door. I can try to help. First, though, a couple of questions. Ask a hundred if you will. Just get me out of here. This wraith, the big one. Tell me more. It, it, it seemed more clever than the others. Like it knew. Knew everything. Haven't helped much, have I? Sorry. Only saw it once. It disappeared right after. These ghosts didn't appear without reason. Something brought them here. Any ideas? No clue. There's nothing here. The lighthouse. Me hot just rocks besides. Even bloody drowners know there's nothing for them on Elberg. Strange. Need to look around. Here. This key opens the lighthouse. You know, in case you want to look inside, or you need to run from something.
I'm Niji Spitty Deja Cat. She called me the other day and I forgot to respond. Well, well, Lighthouse has got a pretty dark secret. Symbols of a bonding, manifestations of ill will, focused, concentrated. So it's a curse. A curse that keeps the specters here. A penitent. Good thing it hasn't appeared to me yet. Couldn't possibly kill it in this mist and darkness. Need that lighthouse working again. If Mikyol's the cursed one, the curse binds him to this place. He's the only one who can light the fire that'll break the curse. Spectre punishes the guilty for crimes, foul deeds. Like luring ships onto the rocks, then looting the wrecks? Don't deny it. I found the letter. Longboats sink every so often anyway. That's the sea, that's its nature. They sink near the isle, at least the cargo don't go to waste. We'll come back to that later. Just now, I need your help. But, but what? I'm no warrior. Guessed that already. But a curse grips both you and this place, and only you can lift it. Luckily, all you gotta do is light the fire in the lighthouse. 
penitent's invincible as long as darkness covers the island. I, I, I can't go outside. It'll kill me. I can feel it. Mayhaps you could... I'll escort you. Now, no excuses. Grab some oil and let's go, before I change my mind. Look! There! It's him! I see it. Now shut your mouth and go light the fire. Remember, you fail, the penitent will kill me, and come for you. Hurry up. Don't know how much longer I can manage this. Did it work? It did, but that doesn't make the island safe, because you're still here. A lightkeeper who lures ships onto the rocks. Sheesh. I made a mistake. I know this now. Swear by Frey and all the gods never again. Absolutely never. As soon as we're done talking, you're gonna pack up and leave. For good. Understand? But I... I understand. All right. Let me... Poopy butthole. Yes, Look what the sea hurled ashore. Hey, you. What clan are you from? No clan. I'm from the continent. Skellige warriors alone drinking this tavern. 
Not looking for trouble. Look at him. Raise your voice and his tail slinks between his legs. He's screaming like at a dog man. who's heard a wolf howl at the moon. Looking to eat? Wait, out in the yard then. Till ill tosses what's left in our bowls or the fence. Whosoever denies shelter to a traveler, disgraces himself and brings shame on his clan. Your dad's teaching nothing. Don't you talk to me about me da, Yorant, or I'll tuck you in me the barrow. And you remember this stranger. This here's not care trolled it. And we's not on crate. Guests are not welcome. You don't mind the occasional traveler? I mind fools, no matter where they're from. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Yorant, son of Sigvald. If you've no one to drink with, sit down with me. Share some mead and a teal. Specialty goods alone, but I don't expect a tramp from the continent to know him from tripe. Yes, yes, that's massive. Game of Gwent. How about it? Slide through, I'm gonna slide in your poo. That cut that fritter.
Hi, Geralt. Those two boys, the pesky ones, who were they? Corey and Cracky. Only ever troublesome, as is their father, Leif. He interesting in some way? Depends. If it's liars and cards that interest you, then very much so. I don't often raise such a hubbub. You must rarely get guests from the continent. Aye, true. When a Redanian or Tamarian grows the stones to come to Skellige, they usually go ashore at Kertrolda. Port's good there. Merchants are plenty. And the Jarl's right merciful to Continentals. I killed the monster from the lighthouse. It was a penitent, very dangerous specter, and very rare. Why did it ever appear on Eldberg? It's been a peaceful island always. Even sirens haven't nested there. Someone committed a crime there, did something terrible. Long story short, you'll need a new lightkeeper. Never mind that. Let's talk about my reward. Aye, yes, got it right here. Earned every last coin you did, and a round. Cheers to your health. So long. Got a taste for Skellige mead, Vagrant? It's not bad, thanks. Ah, then get yourself a keg for the road. And fuck off. I see you lads still don't understand the law of hospitality. Tough. Seems I got to pound it into you. Relax, Yorin. It's just banter. Weak, but still. Nay. We're serious. Dead serious. And foolish as colts that graze on hemlock. But I'll put you straight. Hawks, come here! We've a ball! So many raids, wars, duels, only to die at the hands of some miserable shits. Stay calm, get you a healer. No point. Pierce me lung. I'll drown in my own blood ere too long. Pour a nip off. For me at times. For Jorant, son of Sigvald, who lived honorable and died like a fool. Your lads, they don't about it. Speak, damn it. They're dead. That's some foreigner's hand. Corey! Cracky! But two sons, and you killed them. You ended my line. Sorry, but I didn't start it. Does this stranger speak the truth? Who first drew a blade? Don't know. It happened fast, and we were a few horns in. I killed the monster from the lighthouse, the beast that haunted you. This how you repay me? Paid you in gold. We owe you nothing more. Don't want any more bloodshed. 
but I'll defend myself if I have to. You'll make your defense before the Jarl. Only if Madman Lugos calls you innocent will you be free to go. I'm to be judged by somebody you yourselves call Madman. That, or fight the whole village. And you'll never defeat us all. Not with three swords, you won't. Fine. Lead the way. Just had to stop by that damn tavern. Look at him cast his eyes about, searching for an escape. But the rain. Wonder if you'll be as deaf with a pickaxe <laughs> as you are with a sword. Hey -ho, hey -ho, no way he's keeping us so long. Wants to build a new tower. Needs a lot of stuff. When's my trial? When the Jarl summons you. Won't be soon. The longer a man crushes rocks, the less eager he is to get leapt during trial. This one's waited a year. That one, three. Listen, maybe we can make a deal. They took my things, but... You aren't on the continent. Can't buy me. Not with gold, not with honors. You bored? Grab a pickaxe. But see, Lugos said my trial would be today. Don't remember? Oh, I... Right. Uh, come on. My line dates back to the times of Uben the Great. This dog ended it. He's gotta die. I passed judgment here, Leif. Remember that. But he's a vagrant, a foreigner. He don't deserve a trial, not even death by the sword. He... Now go on. I want to hear this. Geralt, didn't think I'd see you again so soon. I don't remember sending for you. Wouldn't mind waiting if I had a free year or two. Sadly, I'm in a hurry. Let's get to it. Leif claims you killed his sons, Cory and Crocky. What do you say to that? Fought to defend myself, and your end. None came forth to confirm your words. And none will. Always easier to hang an outsider than to try one of your own, right? Ha! Ah, tongue as sharp as your blades. Sharp? He insults me. Insults our whole clan. The Codex of Ancestors says... Quiet! I've made my decision. Gerald of Rivia, I find the guilty on two counts of murder. Punishment's death by suffocation. But you can buy your way out by paying Cory and Crocky's weight in silver. You know I don't have that kind of coin. Unless those boys were a lot lighter than they looked. I'm well aware of that. I'll pay the blood price myself. What? That's against every law. I make the laws here. Go home, Leif. Because if you rail me, I'll tie this bag of silver round your neck and toss you in the sea. Nice gesture, though I'm guessing it doesn't come free. Tell me, Witcher, have you any honor? I do. I paid Leif on your behalf. That puts you in my debt, a debt of pride. You ought to do as I say. So, listen carefully. My lad, Blue Boy Lugos, has ventured out, but not against the Black Ones, nor to loot a convent. 
got the notion to go to the Cave of Dreams, south side of the Isle, and non return from there. You're clever and good with a sword, two traits that rarely go together. So, you're to help him. I need an heir, no matter his metal. Take your things and do as I say, or lose your dignity and good name for all time. Foreigner, watch your step. Greetings. Want to look over our stock? Take it everything here's for sale. Sure, if you can afford it. The Jarl's a stickler for quality, so we keep no rubbish here. Zarakanian Zephyrs, Mahak and Battle Axis, Fair Lead and Short Swords. Where'd you get so many continental goods? The sea provides. And if it doesn't provide on its own, you hack off hands that hold swords in a death grip. <laughs> what? Yeah, think we just found all this on the shore, like seashells at low tide? Show me what you got. What else do you bring back from the raids? We focus on the essentials. Fancy wines, silk, baubles of all sorts. Oh, and wenches, for if we don't make proper use of them, who will? Have you heard about Hollering Hulda, known as the Hellraiser, Madman Lugus's wife? Or Goldilocks Sansa, the most beautiful maid in the world in her time? Taken in raids, both. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of Gwent.
That's a mean man. <laughs> Look at this on these. Can you grab? Greetings. What do you want? Someone's in a good mood. What mood would you be in if you'd lost your son? Still masking. What do you want? Your son. What happened to him? Drowned. Finback tipped the boat he was on. For his first journey into northern waters. Sorry to hear it. Sea swallowed his body. I'll not bury him. He'll not feast with his ancestors. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. So be it. Like you to fine. Show me. It's easier somehow when I have work to do. How about a few rounds of cards? Gwent specifically. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I do. Frank, I should have stink, man. I know the smell of that. Be right back.
really shouldn't have worked, to be honest, because... swords, but I prefer me trusty axe. Would you die for Ooh. me, man? Hey! Friends we show heart, foes we show heart. Ah! 
That's it, Roach. Fight a witcher. What the fuck, man? It's your dude. You've been doing that for years. I wanted. I've been wanting to like. Murder is the word. What the fuck, dude? It's literally what I was. What do you know about a Stebian king? Stebian. Yep, Stebian. But it's Stebian. I don't know, man. No idea. Heard it in fucking Assassin's Creed of Valhalla one time. Yep, S T Y R, like B Y R, or something like that. Look it up. Yeah, look it up, Wikipedia, man. Oh!
Punch, Mr. Rawls, Mr. Rawls. Well, Mr. Rawls and I are not out here giving you our opinion. You're looking to buy something. Well, you're in for a surprise. We're just as well stocked as any land-bound shop in Novograd. Shut your ass up, man. Come on. Shut, shut that little butt up. You know what I mean? That little pooper. <gasps> Excellent. So long. I make a squeak. I make a squeak. I make a squeak when I do it with you. I make a squeak when I do it with you. I could have married well, a continental man. When, yeah, there, there's a specific noise that is made when, when you squeak. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And you're just chewing on it. Mommy. I like when a girl's got a nice fat pussy and I can just grab it. Yeah, yeah. Greetings, traveler. Got back your stolen horn, and I, uh... Killed the thieves. Shame that. They weren't evil men. Didn't give me a choice. Where's my reward? Take it. And next time, slay some damn monsters. Shoot. Understand when you squeak, I'm gonna make it squeak you. Yeah. between a milk guardian and a droner? All right. What is it? There will be a squeaking. I can see that beef when I grab it. It squeaks. Give me that beef, girl. Give me that beef, girl. Make it omnipresent. You know? Make that beef omnipresent. Imagine a squeak. You were squeaky as shit when I oh. Last night when I came in your room, I heard squeaking from the bathroom. I had an unreal fucking song recorded for you today, Anthony, and literally, I just I couldn't send it. It was too fucked. Yeah, it was too fucked. It was unreal. It, yeah, it was unreal though at the same time. I'm not kidding. Truly unreal. <laughs> Understand it will be easily done. Understand for you, uh, for me it won't be fun. Be no fun on my end. Neither for you. Neither for you. Yeah. Neither for you. Yeah, there'll be no fun on my end. Oh, I'm sorry. You thought we were friends? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna show up with a gun. Oh my god. Please.
See you soon. Thanks. Very well. You know. Understand that I break your face with this bow is gonna be real disgraceful for you. Likely it will not go right. Okay, bitch. You wanna fight? Somebody stinks in here. I hope you can stand it. That's a, that's actual. That's a legit. That's a legit guru line right there. By the way. Yes. Yep. Somebody stinks in here. I hope you can stand it. It's from a song called fucking uh, Transit Ride. It's about just like the fucking New York subway system. I, I produced a lexicon, a guru. A lexicon. A lexicon. Your plus we manage to tear down and damage any walls they try to place around us on this planet. Geralt was pissed when he found out that Ciri had disobeyed his direct order to get on cam with him naked. You know? He was super pissed. There's an amazing sex scene with Yennefer that I got, dude. On unreal. Unreal, dude. I, I'm telling you. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yep, 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 yep. It was literally, dude, just, like, hilarious. Like, typical Witcher fucking shit. Like, oh, I got a, um, what's it called? There's a, you know, my dress ripped or whatever. I'm just going to mend it really quick. And one of the one of the fucking comments is like, can I look? Like, I wouldn't mind looking or something like that. Yeah, and literally they just fucking, like, I just, what? Dude, I know.
Yeah, dude. He, just, dude, it's a remembrance, man. Yerl knew he had a rump roast that night. So do I. It probably will be gross. Little Danny, and he's got a hella loose fanny. But yeah, but then I realized that he did it. <laughs> oh my god. Giving me no choice. I think you're retarded. Oh, jeez. What'd you say? I thought you said Dan's a virgin. He smells like shit. That was fun. <laughs> He went to a, he had to take a trip to the toilet. To shit his pants, most likely. To shit his pants, most likely. To shit his pants, most likely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh my lord, yeah. I told the chick I chick I was shitting myself. No, I said, I said, ru it was unused and rusty. That was, because there's that channel, Dan's Shower, and I put unused and rusty. Have you ever seen that movie, There Will Be Blood? Take that later with me. They probably just evacuated, didn't pass gas. Have you ever smelled so something so putrid? Alright. been hiding in a dungeon, pale face.
god fearing. Yeah. Why'd you do it? Last time. What is this? I'd like it. <coughs> the voice has commanded him to poke out his eye. What? Why do you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. What did the gods want, exactly? Do you remember? What did they tell you? They were angry. A voice said, you vile wretch. You didn't help Aki, and now you failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye, suffer, and regret the evil you've wrought. When did the gods speak to you? Right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows. The gods ever show you their form, or are they always just a shadow? Once, I steeled myself, gathered my courage, and in my dream made my torch burn bright. I saw a hazy figure sitting in shadow then. The gods speak from the shadows, you said. Is that why you don't allow any lights in here? In my dreams. At times I see their form, when the torches burn bright. To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them when you're awake as well. Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gaze upon their faces. The gods always demand you offer them your suffering? Only that pleases them, so they ask for more and more. I returned the sword. But nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. Well? Know what it is? It's a Heim. A post-conjunction creature. Very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Himes force their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work. In theory. They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new victim. When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Well, maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. What's this other way? Witcher's beast juries say you have to spend a night in the Heim's lair with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I wager you've slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udelric. It won't be an easy fight. I know you're doubtful. But we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. Might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? Udelric might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think the Heim... Would it try to kill Udelric? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udelric could just... expire. He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes Udelric, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it will be to you? Hmm. And what about the other method? The Heim's a demon, 
and demons are notoriously hard to fool. Plus, the trickster can't know it's a trick. What? The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe they committed a foul deed. The Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Meaning, if the new host doesn't feel true sorrow, the Heim will sense that. Yes. So, for this to work, if either of us has an idea, we can't tell the other one about it. Exactly. Both methods seem risky, but I still think we should try the trick. Don't know that I'm convinced. Just please don't tell me you have to consult Yennefer on such things as well. If we fail to think of anything, we can always try the Witcher's Way. What is it with you and Yennefer? Mentioned her several times already. Nothing. I've just noticed that you're often of one mind. Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're especially different. Seems to happen to all men. Take a rowdy Skelliger, a brave knight or a tough witcher. You all end up wrapped around some woman's finger. What can I say? So, shall we try trekking at first? Yeah, let's. Good decision. Haunted house, the Heim's lair. Only place where anything like this could work. After you then. No reason to delay. Solid craftsmanship. Fitter must have been from the continent. Siri. No, it's impossible. Damn it. Looking to discourage me? Good. Means you're scared. Somebody could break their leg or their neck. What, the Yakuza? Shattered. Udelric must have been scared of seeing the creature just behind him. An old cradle. Must have belonged to Udelric or Aki. An old cradle. Must have belonged to Udelric or Aki. Anything? 
Yes, I have a plan. One that just might work. Can I get any details? You've got to wait for me here. I won't be long. Uh, anything else? Said yourself, you can't know the details. So no, nothing else. You simply gotta trust me. Hope you know what you're doing. So do I. So, can we start? I'm ready. All right, I'll be back soon. In the meantime, get a fire going in the oven. Over there! She's running to the old house! Grab her! Taken. You must put him in the oven. Trust me. Take care not to hurt the child. Give me the feed. In the oven. Throw him in the oven. Do what I do. The Witcher committed no crime. You'll find neither despair nor guilt here. Only shock and relief. You've been tricked. It's over. Over? We tricked the Heim. It thought I'd killed your child, abandoned you to haunt me, feed on my conscience. But when it saw the babe was whole, unharmed, it had to go. You're free, Jarl. Free? The Heim's gone. So are the voices that tortured you. Let's get out of here. What's happening? My head's spinning. I'm spinning in a maelstrom. Geralt, you said it was over. That's just fatigue. In time, his mind will return to normal. What? What will I do now? You'll be fine. Key is to not give in to self-pity. I feel as if someone's torn something from me. That's normal. The Heim was a parasite. Bonds between parasites and hosts can be strong. That's why you feel empty now. Give it a few days, weeks, you'll be fine. Thank you. I think. Farewell. I'll go with him. He seems confused. Good idea. Then what? What are your plans? I'll stay a few days, make sure he's healthy. And you? Gonna stay on speaker, Rog? 
Don't know yet. Gotta gather my thoughts. I'm sure Yennefer must be grown impatient. Thought we already discussed that. We did. Farewell, Witcher. Favorable winds and following seas to you. To you too. So long. Crazy quest. Hello folks, AJ here, uh, bringing you the transmission. Uh, folks, transmissions like this do not go over well with the deep state. We you know about like 150k runecrafting XP gain today doing absolutely nothing. Discover a hundred fast travel points. It's got an achievement. To the druids? Druids aren't any good with wraiths. Oh, suppose you're better. Shut your gob. He's better than any. That's a witcher there. Listen, it's our arena. We've got a wraith that haunts it. Damned if we know how to drive it off. Do you think you could manage? This wraith, I can probably manage it. Need the details. What do you want to know? <sighs> What kind of an arena is this? It's an arena, like any other. The custom was for the best warriors to clash here. Speaker of boats were famous all across Skellige. Then one day a wraith showed up. How did you know? Told you. He's a witcher. A cunning man. He knows these things. 
know anything about this specter? When did it first appear? The granddad told me. His granddad said the rate was called Ulla the Unlucky. Lost every bout he entered, yet always recovered from his wounds. Ulla weren't even able to die like a man. Till one day, Jarl Thormar called a tournament in the arena. In those days, they drew lots to choose their foes, and the Jarl drew Ulla the Unlucky. Jarl was cocksure he'd win, so he mocked Ulla. Ridiculed him till all in the stands were crying with laughter. <laughs> Finally, he raised his arms in triumph, and that's when Ula, who couldn't take it no more, stuck a dagger in his back. As he died, Thoma cursed Ula. May he lose again and again for centuries on end. That's what he said. Ever since, Ula's haunted the arena, looking for a fight and getting a few. Mean there have been those who've tried to defeat him? You kidding? Everyone's beating him. Poor bugger keeps coming back, though. Can't organize no normal fights precisely because of that. All right. Could try my hand at driving away this specter. Not for free, though. Get it done, and we'll pay you the champion's purse. And the premium from our earnings to come. Once the fighting begins, after the curse is lifted. Oh. Sure you're not getting carried away there? Nah, little I, but fuck it. Witcher gets rid of the rate. He'll deserve a premium from the earnings, he will. So be it. One time only, though. Sounds reasonable. Wait for me here. Shouldn't be too long. Oh, another. Prepare to defeat the ghost of the arena. Be my guest. Come to face the ghost of the arena. Don't be shy. I'll defeat Ula the Unlucky. Just spare me your jabber, your cries of die, wraith, and I shall defeat you, specter of the arena. I've heard them all a thousand times. Dreadful sick of them. You're no typical wraith. Why not? Because I don't shriek threats and warn you of your death. Oh, that's simple enough. Plain bored of that. Besides, I know how it'll be. You'll spit out some insults, pierce me with your sword, and I'll then disappear, only to be back here again in a few days. And it'll be so with those who come after you. Such is my fate. I'm to tarry here till the world's end, losing every fate along the way. But you've not come to chat. Draw it, swing it, get to work and defeat the ghost of the arena. Not gonna be any fight. Have it your way. If not you, then the one to come after. It is all the same to me. Draw your weapon. Draw in, draw in. We'll make it quick. And not too much drama if you don't mind. Defeated you. Seems so. Congratulations. But what happened? I was to lose till the end of time. What's that? I hear. I hear laughter and joyous cries. The clanking of chalices and a and a voice summoning me to the feast of heroes. You, you let me win. You freed me. Thank you. The gods be with you. Farewell, ghost. Greetings. 
ghost shouldn't pester you anymore. Drinking meat with his ancestors by now. Ah, knew you'd manage it. Well, Gunnar, be winning. Here. You bet on it? Should have seen it. I said you'd pull it off. Gunnar said there weren't a chance. That's why he's got that sheep's arse frown now. See that frown often, when it's time for me to get paid. You needn't fret. We're honorable folk here. This is for you. And remember, you get a cut of the earnings once we get the arena up and running again. I'll remember that. So long. Round here, are you? After Geralt had sex with Yennefer, he made his way to, you know, like. Geralt had disgusting sex with his ancestors and then made his way, you know. We show heart, foes we show our acts. Remember that. Jack me off. Business is booming for as I can see. Better believe it. Every man and his hound wants to fight in the cursed arena. My cut of the proceeds must have grown sizable. And how? Here. Always a pleasure doing business in Skellige. Come again, eh? Great things are bound to happen here. Mark my words. I hope they do. Good luck. Yeah, dude, this game is got like I'm gonna have to like this game 100 million percent is gonna take me the longest out of every out of any game I've ever played to like I mean like to do 100 percent like I don't I don't even know if 100 percenting it is possible in a single playthrough like huh best plates not worth it's uh that's what I'm saying yeah could be tough so you're back was right wasn't I. Oh, that's... that's not that bad. Wouldn't... 
I swear, yeah. This game's nuts, dude. Let's see. Ah, what's your step? Doors need thumping. Deliver the letter to the Smith. Mind your manners. At Care Troll. So you're back. So long. It's this guy. Doors need thumping. Mind your manners. Ah. Doors need thumping. Mind your manners. I hate when this shit happens more than anything. As Yennefer of Bengerberg told it, there had been a magic explosion in Skelly. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods. So Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Kraken Krait, who helped break down the druid's resolve. Interested in the weapon? There's a tail behind every item I've got. Okay. I think I have something that was meant for you. A letter from me mom. Says here me sis was bringing it. How'd you come by it? Came across some bodies in the woods. Victims of a monster attack. Found this letter on one of the dead. A woman. Thing is dead. Ah, told her and mom so many times. Come over, live with me. No, I had to stay on Pharaoh. I gotta send someone to fetch her body. I'm sorry. Thanks for bringing word. Not every man to go to the trouble. Here, take this. Go. But I prefer me trusty. Leave me to me grief. Go. Leave me to me grief. Go. Leave me to me grief. Go. Go. You got me Leave me to me grief. Friends we show heart, foes we show heart. Interested in the weapon? There's a tail behind every item I've got. What are you peddling?
Cut a diagram. I'd like you to craft something for me. This sword's hilt is made of meteorite steel. No. It's made from the heart of a fallen star. Whoever wields this sword will always find his way at sea. No matter how stormy the skies. But after a time, it overwhelms its owner with sadness and longing for its starry home. And nothing, not even good fun and good company can cheer him up. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of Gwent.
Roger that, boss. Where are you going? Maybe, but I've got good reason. I hold Siri dear too. You know this damn well. But the mask of Orberus is no trifle. Have you any idea what could happen if it is used? Any idea of the consequences? No, but neither do you. So stop panicking. Can hear you two clear on the other side of the island. Good. May all Skellige know, Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief. Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive and all the Isles with us. Barry, what are you talking about? She's not told you? Might have expected as much. The myth is that Orberus created the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his betrothed, Orberus made the mask, which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. Where do you get this mask? Sailors from Clan Dimmon pulled it from the sea, near the Njord Trench. Yeah, but how can you be sure this is Urberos's mask? Its appearance is exactly as described in the myths. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. On the one hand, a theft. On the other, Ciri's life. I also care deeply for the girl. I proposed a series of other methods. Yennefer refused to listen. She claimed they would take too long. Whereas she wants, she needs immediate results. She has always been hot-headed. True. At least this time she's got a valid reason for it. Never mind that she might bring... What? Huh. What was that? No. Jennifer's used the mask. Follow me! We must neutralize the mask! Mutant power! that unicorns damn it yana i saw the foglets i meant how'd they get here the power of the mask summoned them ermion says the mask might cause a natural disaster fortunate he's here then he can jump right in try to tame it realize he won't let this pass oh i'll survive somehow what now the mask reveals the past but only in certain places. 
places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. Well, let's go. This way. Already found the first spot. Keep it on until you see. And don't stray far. Telepathy is limited in range. What's that? A portal? Two people emerged from it. The woman was Siri. How can you know? The way she moved. Like a witcher. Seems they went that way. Come, let's find the next spot. of some sort so powerful that even the echo was dangerous i wager it destroyed the forest but siri and her companion weren't harmed i saw them escape let's see where to place is creepy i don't like it nor do i anyone here with this happened had a slim chance of surviving i know what you're thinking but don't worry siri can take care of herself. Someone chased Siri. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to Velen. Any chance you can figure out where Siri's companion fled to? His portal's gotta be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. Imagine a speed run of Witcher 3. Don the mask. Nice fight. One repelled the other with powerful magic, then fled through a portal. A mage? Most likely. It's Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. The mage who was with Siri fled too. Know where? <clears throat> hmm. His trace path leads to Velen as well. But the target coordinates of his portal differ from those of Ciri's. The explosion must have disrupted his teleportation. Hmm. Ran into Kira Metz in Velen. Coincidence, maybe, but she claimed a mage came to her looking for Siri. Be surprised if it wasn't the same one. Whoever he is, he grows more interesting by the minute. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you brought down on us. If someone's death were to help you find Siri, would you start making human sacrifices as well? Relax. Storms died down. You've clearly got things under control. For now, but who knows what will be a week or two on? Stop panicking. Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You. You I'll deal with later. So? We think a powerful curse was cast here. Hmm. Plausible. 
Considering what happened to the wood, do you know upon whom? Not yet, but we know Siri was here. She stepped out a of the powerful pool, mage. mage was with her. Someone chased them. Siri had a mage with her. What if it was Siri as our job and managed to good. escape? Where to? Velen, probably. The mage opened a portal for her, then he fought her attacker. Yes? Is that it? Got a feeling we've found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. We're flying in that direction. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you... I can. Geralt, please move before clean. No blood, no sword mix. Ciri's friend must have... what do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. Oh, the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a rider of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But why? Elder blood flows in Siri's veins. Tis uh, true, she can trace her lineage clear back to Lara Duran, which is why the women in her family have always had extraordinary abilities. But could that truly be so important? Siri's exceptional. She travels between places here and other worlds. Space is no obstacle for her. Huh? Which is why the Wild Hunt wants to capture her. Speaking of the Hunt, mentioned it appeared on Hindersfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the Cataclysm struck here on Ard Skellig. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders said the raids. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted. Then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women, and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Mm hmm See you there. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. Can we talk? Curious to know your opinion. Well, I believe Emia's chosen a poor time to wage it. Hard to find any better as I see it, with the North now in disarray. The North is weak, true. But I've the impression the Emperor is dealing with some domestic strife. Far too much to start a war. Radovid is a madman, but a cunning one. He's certain to take advantage. You were made a Hierophant. Congratulations. I thank you. The Skellige Circle chose me years ago, about the time when the old disputes between the clans were reigniting. Job's been mainly politics then. Aye, but I've not minded. Since time immemorial, the druids have wandered betwixt the clans, keeping endless feuds in check. We care for equilibrium, the balance of all things, not just trout populations and streams. We're lucky the Jarls always valued us as advisors. Wouldn't happen to play Gwent, would you? Certainly. I got my first deck, oh, years ago, back in Sintra. Proceeded to teach the game to half of Skellige. Why do you ask? Looking to play? Yeah, glad to play around.
Chin up. Can we talk? Cut. Yeah. Congratulations. You've a good deck, but it could use a bit of supplementation. Here, take this card. Thanks. You've a knack for it. So much so you ought to challenge Crack. I gave him his deck, introduced him to the game. But the pupil has surpassed his master. There's also Grimmest, a vile character, but undeniably talented. Show me what you got. Come on, Rose. <laughs> Can 
Step over here! Heard you calling. Aye, because I was. I thank Mother Nature she didn't skimp on my voice as she did with some others I know. See, one of us, a gill, went mute all of a sudden. No spell or potion helps him. But it is said strong emotions and experiences can restore speech. So I thought perhaps you might. I'll pay you, of course. It give you an excellent Gwent card. Suppose I could try, but I wouldn't even know where to start. You want me to scare him? Aye, good, good. That should do it. Scare, irritate, whatever you wish, provided you do him no harm. You can usually find a gill near the hallowed oak. Poor man, he's probably praying in his heart for a cure. <laughs> Tin pots stand to make a lot of noise. Maybe give him a smack once he's asleep. Are you the silent druid? Oh, yeah, dumb question. They ever try to cure you some other way? Give you potions or herbs? Hm, not just mute. Seems he's deaf, too. When do you lose your voice? Can you show me? Hold up some fingers? Ah, charming man. Hm, doesn't look like we'll figure much out talking. So long. Talking won't get me anywhere. say something if I put out his fire. Hornet's nest. Known to have therapeutic uses. In shock therapy, for instance. Sorry, someone tricked me. I thought. Hoo, hoo, hoo. My deepest sympathies. Now get out of my sight, you imbecile. <laughs> Heard him screaming clear over here. Grand work, Witcher. Your reward, as promised. for a fool. Remember that, or next time you'll be the one left speechless. Any younger friends. You 
must pass your knowledge on. I'm no trout that must get to its spawning ground. I should do what I please, and then leave me be. <laughs> Yes? What do you seek? Kind old geezer I just saw you talking to. Who was he? One of our circle. Gremist. An exceptional alchemist. But a stubborn main ass. Well, been around sorceress is my share. Long enough to know that with great enlightenment comes even greater arrogance. Let me tell you sorceress something. Sorceress is welcome it's up gross, premises, am I right? I want to see Not an ass. A so many box. formula in that head. So many methods of ingesting and absorbing lethal toxins. But he'd rather take them to the grave than share. Maybe he'll make an exception. Share them with me. As likely as mistletoe sprouting from right here. I want to talk to you. But I do not wish to speak. Leave. You distress me. You seem a nice enough guy. Well, I'm not. A plan never to be. I became a druid to avoid others. To not have to deal with them. Not to smile when I don't wish to. To feign compassion when someone's travails matter less to me than a pair of birch cones. So I shall be straight. Get out of my sight. Before something, I know not what, deprives you of yours. I want you to share your knowledge. Teach me alchemy. You? My apprentice? <laughs> That's rich. While you're at it, why did you ask Uderic if they'll share Spickerog with you? I'm serious. <laughs> and that so? Don't make me laugh. I've devoted my life to alchemy. Sun, literary. Spent countless days and nights with nothing but alembics, choking on fumes, scorching my skin with acids. If you think I'll simply portray to you what I learned through years of sacrifice and toil, then you're mistaken. Deeply. Can I convince you somehow? Oh, gods. You're as bothersome as a gadfly before a storm. Hmm. The way I'm preparing to perform a rather tricky ritual. So I could use some help. Even yours. I require three favors. Do them for me. And I shall accept you as my apprentice. Well, well. There's a way after all. Get off your high horse and listen. First, you must bring me a pimpernel from the Muscovan forest. Second, I need... A bottle of spirit from the old distillery on Hale Hill. Finally, convince Fridjof to help me perform the rite. He's a druid like I am. You'll find him near Blandara. I believe he's there on a matter of some import. So, what will it be? Hmm. Pimpernel. As far as I know, it's got no use in alchemy apart from... Would you teach your grandmother to suck eggs? It's not any pimpernel, but the one that grows in the Moscowden forest. And if the rumors are true, a creature jealously guards all the herbs growing there. Forest creature jealously guarding some secrets? Sounds familiar. Spirit, why do you need that? As you must know, potential apprentice, alcohol is the beast for all potions. Superior alcohol means a higher quality potion. The spirit has no equal. Its strength, its flavor. Unfortunately, the distillery atop Hale Hill has fallen into disrepair. We've lacked a source ever since. But you'll manage somehow, won't you? You're so confident. This Fritjof, who is he? A Veda maker, huh? You don't know the word, do you? And I pledge to make you my apprentice. A Veda maker is a druid who can manipulate the weather, stop a storm, cause hail, make lightning turn your enemy to ash. I advise to address him with the utmost respect. If you value your life. 
life. All right, I'll do it. But this ritual you want to perform, what's that about? If ye wish to be my apprentice, you must stop asking questions. I decide what to tell you and when to do it. Now go, chop chop, before I change my mind. Yeah, we're back. 